Hey everyone, it's A Nikki again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally going to be an update for my Panthers Eyeshadows project. I didn't post for May or June, um, but I did continue using those eyeshadows throughout the month and I do have some progress. Um, it's just been crazy time and like I said, I think in my last video, did I say anything in my last video? I can't remember what what even happened um but i have been just kind of out of sorts life's been crazy rick's been crazy the world's been crazy so I come home and all i want to do is decompress and not even look at anything social media wise do anything i don't think i watched any youtube at all for like nearly a month like the end of may to the last week of June, I didn't, like, I have so many videos I need to catch up on, um, which is good because now I have something to do. Um, I've just been, like, reading books and playing Animal Crossing and literally that's it. <laughs> We've watched, I think, Anna, like, two animes with my husband. We're just not connecting to the world <laughs> in any means, um, other than having to go to work, so... Um, I'm going to try to get back into some sort of routine and since this is one of my favorite projects to do, I thought it'd be a nice start to just jump in to an update for Piano's eyeshadows. Um, so I do have progress on four shadows and I have them kind of spread around. Um, but in true, you know, Amanda fashion, I did lose one of the single shadows. So seashell is missing. And I have no idea where it's gone to. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I cannot find it. <laughs> and I've looked for like two days. Um, but the last time I used that one, I had 10 uses for this entire project. And I don't think I was going to hit pan anytime soon on that one. So since I can't find it, I'm going to also include that one. So I will be including five new shadows in this um, July edition. I did hit pan on, there were four of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those right now. Um, one of the first ones, actually, let me go in order. Um, so on May 19th, I hit pan finally on the shade Fuck from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Um, as you can see, that one, it's been in this product for quite some time. It is a decent shade. It looks absolutely terrible, like on your finger. But swatching it, it doesn't look so, so I did use that shadow a total of 17 times before I hit pan toward the mid, middle of May. Um, and the next shadow I hit pan on was Electric from the Perfusion Beauty Superstars palette. And where did I put this that? kind of like bundle set palette and it's this yellow one in the center it's hard to see pick up on um but I hate those shadows so much that one and then one right next to it was also part of this project and I hate those shadows <laughs> the formula is just not very good and I don't know if it's because it's starting to get kind of old um since I've had that palette it's been a few years I want to say almost two now so it might be that the palette's just getting gross, but those shadows are just pure glitter and it's not a good glitter formula, so it's fallout everywhere. Um, I used it a total of three times. Um, while I was sitting at home, I think my quarantine made it made me buy it video. I was using the yellow of that shadow was electric and I just like packed that sucker on so I could try to get rid of it. Um, but that one, I panned it finally on May 28th after three years. I might end up getting rid of this palette just altogether. Um, maybe take out a couple of the pans I do still like and then just toss the whole thing because it's so bulky. I don't like reaching for it because it's so big. I'm not even going to swatch it because I just dislike that glitter and it gets everywhere. And it'll be all over everything for for the rest of my life. The third eyeshadow that I panned was from the Cathy Lights Zodiac palette with ColourPop. And it was the Pisces. Let's see, there's a pan right there. And I did use this 
as you can see there's a little bit of pan right there at the top I was using this as an eyeliner and that really helped get through to the bottom of the pan pretty quickly um, and I've discovered like using things as eyeliners really helps to get pan just incredibly fast I used it with the Morphe palette I used it with my other Perfusion Wonderless palette and it's really helped me like get down to the nitty gritty of the pan um, that one I used a total of six times before I hit pan in the middle of June. June 12th was when I hit pan on that one. And then the final one, and I'll go ahead and swatch that one. That one's also a glittery shade, but it's not as terrible. It will get everywhere though. <laughs> when I try to clean it off, it'll get all over the place. But it's very pretty. off my finger all right and then the last shade that I hit pan on from this group was from my Milani most love mattes palette this has been in this project continuously um, but it's going to be catch a tan it's the one I'm wearing like all over my eye it's a very useful shade I feel like this whole palette is just a nice go-to palette there you go. Um, I do really love this. I might repurchase this once I get through all the shades just because it is a very like, nice, reliable palette that you can use to travel. Um, the mirror is like the whole lid, which is nice. And I always use this mirror to just like do my makeup. If I'm putting my makeup on at my desk at work, I bring this to do. Catch a tan. I use it a total of 13 times in this project. I've used it before. It's also part of my Project Pan 2020, which I'm going to cancel because it's just a little overwhelming trying to do that project, including this one, and struggling in both. So I'm just gonna not do the Project Pan 2020. We'll try again next year, I think, um, or 2022. I don't know what the world's gonna be like, but we'll see. Um, but it's gonna be canceled for this year. I am going to continue this one though because I still think it's really fun and I like the surprise of seeing new shadows pop in ever so often. So, <clears throat> but for Catch a Tan, I did use it 13 times and I hit pan on June 23rd. So I'm still keeping track of these shadows um, even though I wasn't using them as often and I wasn't updating. But yeah, those are And so for the shadow, I did not hit pan on. Um, Excluding the seashell shadow that I'm not I'm just gonna We're gonna pretend that didn't exist anymore Um was from this Tarte High Performance Neutrals palette. It was like their holiday palette. It came in This is really pretty cute Really love it. The mirror is huge and it has Do this without dropping all of them um, Four little mini travel size palettes, which is really cool. Um, and then like a little drawer to put, oh, tweezers. Um, to put tweezers and other little things. I think it came with a mascara and a lip gloss and this little travel size um, compact, which is nice. Um, the shade I had in here was Winter and Chill, which is this really pretty shimmer, which I've just been using like all over the lid when I do wear it. Got over my knuckles. <laughs> It's a very pretty shimmer shade. I do like it. Um, I've just been putting it all over the lid, some eyeliner, mascara, and that's it. And it looks really I did nice. use that one a total of nine times in this project. Um, and I'm going to keep that in for the month of July. And let's start rolling. I'm going to roll in five new shadows, which is exciting. I think that's the most we've rolled in ever. Um, of course, they did take two months to do, though things so so I already have everything in my Excel sheet all of the shadows that I own and in the pretty random app I already have all of the components entered and I'm just gonna hit randomize five times um, jot down the numbers really quick and then we'll check out to see what we got so 74 208. I feel like that is already one that we used. 147. 
11. And start at the bottom and then work our way up because that's where I already am on the Excel sheet. So we're just going to scroll up to 208. Which is one I haven't used yet, but it is also from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Um, it is this shade. Suck? Did it suck? It was this uh, shade Suck. So another orange. <laughs> this one right here. Which I did use that one to create like a pride look. Um, in June and I really was digging the orange shade so number 200 is also in the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and it is the shade bubblegum so this bright pink and I swatched that without showing you on my finger there you go Ooh, that was really bright in the camera but nice like a bubblegum pink I was a little taken aback. I usually write down the shades going across, but I think I did this one down each row. So, two from the Jeffree Star palette. Right, scrolling up to 147, it is from the Love in London palette from BH Cosmetics. It's this one right here. It is the shade Prestige. I was looking right at it and I did not see it. This is the shade right here. I think I wore this to my cousin's wedding. It's very pretty like chrome looking shade. It's very pretty. The shimmers in this palette are amazing. I really love it. Um, I went to... I don't want to say like six weddings in 2018 and this is what I wore. 74 and that is from the Perfusion Wonderless palette. This one has also been in this project before um, for a couple shades actually but it's now the shade Statement which is actually a pretty decent shade. I'm going to hold it upside down. It's going to be this one right here. Oh, I always run out of room. I think I just swatch way too big. So number 11 is actually one that we've already used. It is the um, shade Spark from the Dream Street palette. Um, we've already hit paint on that one, so we're just going to go ahead and spin again. And 168. Let's scroll all the way back down. To the Zodiac palette, which we just used in our last month, but that's fine because I really enjoyed using this palette. Um, and 168 is the Gemini, which is my sign, and it is this really pretty gold shade right up here. Just go across the top like I always do because I run out of room. There you go, it's very pretty golds. So that is my color story for the month of July. I'm pretty excited to have another orange shade in the mix. I've been really in love with the like bright orange and blues lately. Um, so I'm pretty excited to have that. And then two shades from the same palette. That's always nice. Less things to have to like dig through. Um, so let me know what you think about this color story in the comments below. And also if you're a panner how are you staying on top of things because I know I've been struggling a little bit lately so if anyone has any tips or advice on how to continue to like power through panning let me know as well in the comments and I will see you all next time bye